identify the x values of any local extrema for the following function. f of x is equal to 6x to the fifth minus 10x to the third. The first step in this process is to determine what f prime of x will be. And if we differentiate f of x using the power rule, we will get 30, 6 times 5 is 30, x to the fourth minus 3 times 10 is 30, x to the second. And then if we were to set this equal to 0, we can find our critical values. We can also try to factor. I see a 30 in both of these terms, and I also see an x squared in both of these terms. And when I, put, when I factor out 30x squared, I'll be left with x squared minus 1 um, inside of the parentheses. And then I can further factor this as 30x squared times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Therefore, we know that our critical values are going to occur at x equals 0 because the x squared outside, x equals negative 1, and x equals positive 1. So now what we can do with this information is create a sign chart to test out these potential critical values that we have. So we have a negative 1, a 0, and a positive 1. And we're going to select values in between to substitute in. Also outside. So for this first outside one, I'll choose negative 2. For in between here, I'll choose negative 1 half. And in between these two, I'll choose positive 1 half. And greater than 1, I'll choose 2. All right. And then I'm going to rewrite f prime of x in its factored form to make the analysis part a little bit easier. That is 30x squared times x plus 1 times x minus 1. All right, now we can substitute negative 2 in here. Negative 2 squared will be positive 4, so we have a positive outside of the parentheses. And then negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, that's negative. And negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, that is also negative. So a positive times a negative times a negative yields a positive number. Therefore, for x values less than negative 1, we are going to have an increasing function. Now let's substitute negative 1 half in. For negative 1 half squared, that'll be positive 1 fourth. Negative 1 half plus 1 will be positive 1 half. And negative 1 half minus 1 will be negative 1 and a half, or negative. So positive times a positive times a negative is negative. So here our function is going to be decreasing. Now if we evaluate it at positive 1 half, we have 1 half squared is positive 1 fourth. 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 and a half, or positive 3 halves. And 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So I have a positive times a positive times a negative. So that will also be a negative value where the function is decreasing. Now if we substitute 2 in to our function, we will have 2 squared is 4, so we'll have a positive out in front. 2 plus 1 is 3, that's also positive, and 2 minus 1 is 1, that's also positive. So 3 positives, therefore, for x values greater than 1, our function is going to be increasing. So we can now diagram out what's happening. We have increasing, decreasing, decreasing, and then increasing again. When we go from increasing to decreasing here, we are going to have a local maximum at x equals negative 1. So that's Roman numeral 1. And then we're decreasing, decreasing again, and then we go from decreasing to increasing. That's happening at x equals 1. So that's going to yield a local minimum. So that's Roman numeral 4. So the correct answer for this question is a local max at x equals negative 1, and a local min at x equals 1. Roman numerals 1 and 4. Answer choice B.